because it is the Holy Spirit that is that signet that lets us know I'm in the family. The Bible says right here uh, in verse 10, and if Christ be in you, the body is what? Dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if through the spirit you do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Notice this in verse 14. For as many of you are led by the Spirit of God, they are the what? They are the sons of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, then the Bible says that you are the sons. Notice, not the sons and daughters. Because God didn't have a daughter, did he? He only had. He only had a son. That's all he had. He only had a son. And if you obey the gospel, if you come to Christ, then you can become a son of God. The Bible says here, for you have not received the spirit of bondage again the fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption. That's why we cry Father. You can't cry Father unless the spirit is with you. Notice this verse 16. The spirit itself does what? That we are the what? Uh, here's my uh, 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 official uh, illustrator, Max. Uh, uh, he, 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 He's a, uh, matter of fact, we just going to hire him at the church as the official facilitator. Uh, 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 just, just stand, stand, stand this way. Stand on the back of my Face this way, face When you get baptized, when you get baptized, the Lord, according to Colossians chapter 2, the Bible says God does an operation and he cuts the body of sin. Because anytime God looks at you, all he sees is sin. Matter of fact, matter of fact, that's all he sees. Is, is this your call? Y'all give him a round of applause. <laughs> Amen. That's all God sees. The black, the sin, that's all God sees when he sees you. So when you pray, this is all he sees. When you do good deeds, this is all he sees. When you worship, this is all he sees. God, because he is love, cannot fellowship with darkness. Amen. So I don't care how good your mother, your father, your neighbors, your friends, if a person has not received, all he sees is the body of sin. When a person hears the gospel and responds and gives their life to Christ, then the Bible says in Colossians chapter 2, verse 12, verse 12 and 13, the Bible says when you get down into the water, you don't remove your sins. The Bible says God removes your sins. He cuts it away. When God cuts it away, then the Bible says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit can now live in you. Right? That's an amen moment. I don't know if y'all know that. That was an amen moment. Because the sin is gone, then you have notified heaven we can live here now. Amen. So notice this. Not only do you have the Father. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If you had the Father all by yourself, you already bad all by yourself just to have the Father. But the Father says, not just me, because I'm bringing Christ, your Savior, with me. So you have the Father It's already a party. It, 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 it's already a party. But he says, you know what? Jesus says in John chapter 14, I'm not going to leave you confidence. I am physically going away. That's what Jesus says. I'm yeah, physically yeah, going away in yeah. John chapter 14. But I'm sending someone to you here on earth. Yes, sir. I'm leaving. Yeah. But the one here on earth. I'm sending the Holy Spirit to you personally. The Holy Spirit is not sent to a region. So the people that live in the community don't all have access. The Holy Spirit is sent to you as a personal friend and God. The purpose of the Holy Spirit is not to follow you around. 
The purpose of the Holy Spirit is not to kick it with you. The purpose of the Holy Spirit follow me. That's the purpose of the Holy Spirit. When you make your decisions, whatever you do, whatever you decide to do this, you decide to do that, if you decide to stop this and quit this, you consult and you pray with the Holy Spirit to Jesus Christ and our Lord and Savior and our Father in heaven. So notice this in the text. Hold right there. Notice this in the text. Romans chapter 8. The Spirit itself does what? With what? There's a conversation going on. Y'all see the conversation? Now, before you were saved, or before anybody comes to Christ, you already have a spirit because your spirit is why you're alive. So, it is not that your spirit goes away and then the Holy Spirit takes place of your spirit. No. Your spirit is connected to your thoughts and minds. So if you notice, anybody that gets baptized the next day, they still think the same. And the reason why they think the same is because their spirit has been trained to condition a certain way. So it is the job of the Holy Spirit, for those of you who may not know, it is the job of the Holy Spirit to step in and have a conversation with your spirit. Can we talk? Yeah. <laughs> Can we? And so it is the Holy Spirit to say, walk slowly. Stop cussing. I said stop cussing. <laughs> Mm -mm, you can't go that turn. Mm -mm, we'll go to club. Go back. Now, why you go? now, the Holy Spirit doesn't force. Because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is supposed to be God. And he's speaking to you. So he said, follow me. But if you decide to stay, the Holy Spirit. Mm. You ever seen somebody about to make a real bad mistake and all you can do is watch? Oh, I seen a train wreck. <laughs> and you know what? And in that deep, and because you have a relationship, because you have obeyed the gospel, even when you mess up, the Holy Spirit is still there. It's okay, now, come on. We got, now, he never forces you. Some of us get mad because we say, God, you saw what I was, why God, why didn't you have, why God, why did you allow this to happen? Listen, you wasn't in tune with the Holy Spirit. You was watching when you should have been listening. Close your eyes. Y'all see that? Close your eyes, listen to my voice, and then you can see. To take away my fear, every day.